Welcome everybody. So today I'm going to do a quick video on how I use uh, LibAV Tools and mPlayer to screencast a video. So it looks like I got everything running in order. Oh, well, the first thing you want to do is uh, check to see what if your video inputs are uh, what your video inputs are. So it's simply a command a record tac l and you'll find that I have two cards, a um, Intel uh, analog, which well, essentially it's the uh, microphone built into my laptop, and then the Logitech USB microphone, which is an old rock band karaoke mic, <laughs> which I'm actually recording this video on now. So let's go over to my blog really quick and have a look here. Okay, so, uh, using LibAV Tools and mPlayer to screencast. The first thing you'll want to do is to install LibAV Tools and uh, mPlayer from your uh, repository in your distribution. So in Ubuntu-based distributions in Debian, you could do a uh, sudo apt-get install LibAV Tools uh, and mPlayer. Now this is the command that I use on my laptop here to record video. So avcon force also audio channel one and then hw colon one represents the microphone sound card. So you know when I showed you guys uh, earlier the uh, a record information card one was was that item. Using X, uh, X11 to grab 30 frames per second, the screen resolution of my laptop, which is 1366 by 764, and um, the V codec uh, libx264 threads 4, and the output location is my home folder output.mkv. Uh, which you can see is right over here right now. Now I've found that the file needs to be um, not there when you start recording or else you'll have some uh, video drift issues. Otherwise uh, you'll be fine. So just change the, uh, the file name each time so it doesn't have to overwrite the file. Something happens with the recording and it creates a bit of a drift. Now for mPlayer, which is this little window you got here, um, I'm using the video for Linux driver sending the command to uh, um, TV, TAC TV. The width is 120 pixels by a height of 90 pixels. The device location on my laptop is dev video zero. I'm also telling it no border. So TAC no border will get rid of the uh, elementary OS themed border around there. And the geometry of 100%, that's on the x-axis, the top left corner down and on the y-axis, the top left corner down. So naturally, I'm, it's actually trying to put it into this little corner right here, which is also hot keyed to minimize my screen. But uh, that will, uh, and then followed by that is uh, tack on top. And that's pretty much it. I've got some more information here on my blog over at linuxbookpro.com, libav, using tack, libav, tack tools, and um, anyway, you can see the URL. And that's pretty much it. It's actually pretty simple. And so if you have any questions, go ahead and leave some comments in the, um, in the blog post below or uh, wherever you watch this video, YouTube, whatever. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take it easy, everyone. Talk to you later.